Good morning. Good morning. It's five past six. I look estate. Basically, I set my alarm to get up a little bit early to sort my hair out. It is clean, but it's just completely unstyled. I've just put it up in a claw clip. I am actually boiling. Boiling, because this house is hot. Um, but I'm about to head to the airport. I'm about to head to the airport. I wonder if I can put that light on. Um, to fly to St. Vincent. I'm so excited. I'm also a little bit apprehensive, just because I don't know what to expect. Um, but yeah, getting in the car in about five minutes. My mum's dropping me off at the train station, which is very kind. And then... I'm getting an hour and a half train with a few changes to Heathrow Airport with the world's biggest suitcase. I think this is going to be overweight. <sighs> weighs a ton. Let me tell you, it weighs a ton. Um, but I overpacked because I didn't know what I was going to need. So that's that. I've also got my little um, hand luggage bag. Just got my laptop, some headphones, some shorts for when I get to. St. Vincent to change into at the other side. Um, I need my water. Very quickly before I leave, I'm a bit gutted because I wanted to take this with me, um, but I left one in my bag overnight and the lid sort of slowly slid off. So unless it's in your cupboard, it's probably not a good idea to take with you. But actually, my mum also has a set of reel in the kitchen, which is great. Um, but hers is already open as well. I was thinking about taping it. I don't know. I just feel like... When I've been taking this consistently and I've noticed changes, the second I stop, I'm just a bit worried that I'm not going to notice the changes. Um, but yeah, I have been, I do get bloated. I've mentioned before, I do get bloated. When I'm consistent with something, it really does pay off. Um, so I have consistently been putting gut feel in my breakfast. I showed you guys in my story as well the other day. Um, but I did just want to come on here and remind you about the offer that they've got on. So my code Zoe Ray, basically, if you purchase something once, you'll get 10% off. But if you subscribe to real which i would probably recommend doing because you get 25 percent off if you subscribe and you also get one of these lovely like clear free water bottles as well i sound so croaky it is so early in the morning um ridiculous i also think i'm gonna be way too hot i did put shorts in my bag which i'm tempted to change into now to be honest but shorts at 6 a.m in england don't know how i feel about that um if I was going to have breakfast this morning, my mum's got some yoghurt in the fridge, I would literally just put a spoonful of this um, in my yoghurt. But yeah, I've noticed like reduced bloating and just in general, it helps digestion, it um, improves IBS symptoms and just general better gut health. So I will leave the link to this in the description bar down below. Really, really recommend just picking up. Just try it. Like, and you can put it with so many things. You can mix it with your smoothies. You can put it in yogurt bowls. You could put it in like your protein shakes, which again I do sometimes as well. I also think it's just so aesthetic. How cute! One little teaspoon. So funny. My mom's got three up there. I didn't realise she had them. Leave all the information on the screen that you need to know for real, um, and in the description bar down below. If you just want to give it a try, maybe just do the one-time purchase and then see how you feel, and then subscribe. I don't know, but there's so many options and. All the options with my code Zoe Ray will get you money off. But I am going to head to the airport right now. Literally right now. I've got my water, I've got my bags, I'm ready to go. So I will speak to you guys. I don't know when I'm next going to vlog, potentially on the plane. But yeah, I might vlog on the plane and show you what food we get. But yeah, thanks so much for clicking on this video. It's going to be a really good one. I know it. Together. This morning at 6am. <laughs> What time is your body clock at now? It is, what well, would it be? 20 to 5, 20, 20 to 11. 20 to 10. 20 to 10. Um, 20 to 10 on our body clocks, but here in Barbados, where we've just landed, it is 20 to 5. Um, we're just waiting here on the same plane, thankfully, to then wait for the crew to change over and then we're gonna fly to St. Vincent, but it's literally like an hour's flight. Thank goodness I downloaded some Grey's Anatomy because the TV shows and the movies on the screen have been diabolical. Like, there's literally been nothing I've wanted to watch. Um, there was all the Harry Potter ones, but I'm not too fussed about them. These are the views out the window currently. Just waiting to take off. Very excited to get to the hotel now and settle in, unpack, have a proper dinner, um, get our bearings, and then just get an early night. And I will give you the full itinerary at some point. I don't know when I'm gonna do that, but at some point, because it is long, I'll probably do it day by day. Oh my god, guys, what on earth? No, what on earth? We just got off the minibus, we just arrived at Sandals Hotel where we're staying. 
this is gorgeous also i look an absolute state my hair's gross just wipe myself with a cold flannel but current views is this not just the most gorgeous hotel you've ever seen that was the minibus we were just on then stephanie may have introduced you to the second restaurant village we have restaurants such as butch's our steakhouse we have sora which is american italian the scrimshaw which is your seafood and you'll have parasol which is our beach bar good morning guys good morning it is five to seven the jet lag is in full swing it's in full swing we were up at half three we were up at half five and then we were just like right we're just gonna have to stay awake for half five because it's five hours ahead so half five is half ten so actually it's really really late uk time let me just move you around let me tell you i am in shock i am in shock at where we are staying this hotel is actually i'm gonna say it it's nicer than our honeymoon like this is the sort of place we should have stayed for our honeymoon. Um, I had no idea, I didn't expect this at all. We've not really looked into where we were staying because all we knew is that we were doing this charity challenge um, and that we were staying somewhere nice. But this is incredible, I will show you my view in a minute. But plan this morning. Breakfast doesn't open for another half an hour, so Danny and I um, are going to go for a half 20, 30 minute plod just to sort of get ourselves semi-acclimatized before tomorrow because being out on this balcony, for two minutes and my face is literally dripping with sweat already the sun's not out yet but it's very muggy it's very sticky um and we've got to run 50 miles well we've got to cover 50 miles in this heat so we definitely need to see how it feels this morning um oh my god this is just incredible it's so hilly around here as well so the drive from the airport last night to the hotel was literally like this and then they said oh by the way guys this is the route that we're doing for the half marathon I'm sorry. It's gonna. I'm gonna have to walk. Like I'm literally gonna have to walk the whole thing. But honestly, it was like this, with a little bit of this, but mostly like this. Um, also, sorry, I'm going. I've got so much to say. This new set. What? This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. I don't think we're gonna properly run because it is too hot. But then also, like, we've got to do four days of running in this heat, so we kind of do need to get used to it. Um, but that's why all the runs, whilst we're here, start at like 4, 5, 6 a.m. Oh, I've not drunk any water actually. That water on the bedside of the table. Do you mind running it for me? Um, you, you and not drinking water for exercise is bad enough. I know. Let alone coming here, to a I know. island. I will drink, I will drink. Um, but yeah, guys, so plan. We're going to run and then we're going to come back. We've got a couple of hours chill. And then at 2 o'clock, this is actually really exciting and I'm actually really looking forward to this. We are going to visit the paediatric hospitals that we're raising money for. Um, so we're getting to basically see where our money's going, which is great, like I'm really pleased about that. Because you do charity challenges, you don't normally get to go and see where your money's going. So yeah. that's really good that um, we can do that. And anyone that's donated as well, which I will leave the link in my bio, but if you have donated, thank you. And also you'll be able to see where the money's going. So um, that's good. Doing that at two o'clock, yeah, I am. Might have to show you the view. Please show people. Isn't this nicer than our honeymoon? Yeah. <laughs> it is. We've come, like, to do, we've come to do an island challenge for charity and this is nice enough mm. that's why i'm waking us up um oh yeah let me show you it's incredible we've got a bath this is honeymoon we've party. got a bath on the balcony yeah the, the guy that showed us our room last night he was like i've got a feeling you've just come back from your honeymoon mm. how weird is that i know yeah that is so weird and i was like yeah it's like i've have. done this job a long time i can always tell what do we look like we're we in love or something i thought we looked snapped yeah we, <laughs> we did like, we were so get, tired get me to bed <laughs> Um, when we got to the room last night, we ordered some room service and then literally just passed out and went straight to sleep. Uh, let's talk about how good that was as well. The, the food. No. You were so tired that you couldn't actually talk to me. No. Like, I was trying to say to you how nice your pasta was, but you were just so tired. Nobody got anything out of me yesterday. No. Um, right, let me show you this view. We've got a bath on the balcony. And... Guys, no. This is the view. This is so us. It's so green and so hilly. Why did we not think about this car? I don't know. Uh, why did we not do the Caribbean? We didn't want to travel far, did we? we can because... Know. Look Look at the pools down here. The Dolomites threw us off. We thought we wanted to fly somewhere from the Dolomites. Maybe, yeah. maybe this is our sign to go to Bali. I think so. I think so. I think there's a lot of things out there that we are yet to experience. And also... All right, maybe I'll stop asking you for a child then. For what? For a child. <laughs> a child! <laughs> yeah, the second we have a child, we can't do stuff like this. That's it though, isn't it? Are you not though? Are you just not? 
we couldn't come and do this if we had a child. Yeah. Unless my mum wanted to look after the child for a full week, but we wouldn't want that anyway. I don't know. Knowing your mum, though, she'd love that. Yeah, she would. Um, also, I've added a necklace. This was sent from Abbott Lyon um, just after we got married. That's, and wrong. That's wrong. What? It's Abbott Lyon. No, it's not Abbott Lyon. It's Abbott Lyon. Oh, oh my god, Abbott Lyon. Abbott Lyon. I was actually winding you up for this. Abbott Lyon. Abbott Lyon. It's Abbott Lyon. Oh, well, I know what it is, but I can't think. Well, anyway, they sent this um, necklace after we got married, and it's a little heart with July, the month of July on it, and I don't know if you can see, but it's got like a little diamond on the 6th of July, which is obviously the date we got married, which is gorgeous. So I've just stacked that with my other necklace that Danny got me. I need um, to replan, sorry. Gosh, it's hot. We need to go and explore because basically there's 12 restaurants. I don't yeah, know where so, the restaurants are. So breakfast, we can go to the American Italian, which is over there, Solo. Or the rest of them are over in that complex over there. I think the American Italian yeah, opens at eight, doesn't it? No, at half seven. Definitely. A million percent. Okay, fine. And um, where, where do you want to run? Do you want to go off camp? Uh, you see that <laughs> or do you want to run around building, here? Orange building. You go out the front, sort of turn left and rail the road. Anyway, guys. Um, yeah, feeling very, very, very grateful to be here. Um, massive thanks to Trending Travel for allowing this this opportunity, and obviously the Sandals Foundation. Like this is utterly incredible, and. Um, but I can have you a bit of an out of body experience. <laughs> this view doesn't feel quite right. I knew it was going to be nice, but I just didn't expect it to be this nice. Also, I will quickly show you our room. It is a bit messy because we're semi unpacked, but like halfway through unpacking. Um, obviously, we got in late last night, but our balcony, this is our balcony with our bathtub. Um, and then our room, again, the most gorgeous room we've ever stayed in. Um, nice, <laughs> where we stayed for a honeymoon. So we've got the bed in here, bedroom, chest of drawers. Bed is massive, absolutely massive. That's me just semi unpacking. And then through here, that's our room service that we had last night. I had a cheeseburger, Danny had a big tortellini pasta dish. Um, this is my outfit for me. How cute. Also the train is match. So buzzing about that. And my sunglasses match as well. Um, through here, we've got our bathroom, double sinks, toilet, shower, biggest bath, in the world and actually bigger shower as well so that's that and then through here um <laughs> a full full dressing area so just absolutely gorgeous yeah i'm feeling incredibly lucky but guys we're gonna go for a little run now it's just half an hour but i think i'm gonna get too hot i might just do 20 minutes um, and then come back and have some brekkie, chill out and then head to the hospitals and I will just vlog as much as I can. The way I wanted to say good afternoon because it honestly feels like the afternoon. It's only, guys it's not even 10 o'clock, it's 10 to 10 and I feel like we've been up a whole day. Like it could literally be 4pm and I wouldn't question it. However, I sat here with my iced coffee, just got an iced latte. Danny's got an iced Americano, he's just gone back to the room to get his sunglasses because he forgot them. Um, but yeah, we didn't go for a run because basically we came outside, it was so incredibly hot. Um, so we just went to the gym instead and we did some upper body weights and that was really, really pleasant. And we went to breakfast. Breakfast was 10 out of 10 and yeah, we are just chilling now. Um, oh, that's what I've come in front of. Yeah, an ice latte in there. In here? Yeah, so nice. And you can, are you on the beach? Yeah, can you see it in? Yeah, you can. What is it? Is it nice down by the beach? No we were going to go here, but there's no seats. But there's we're not the a fan of the and beach. The beach we might like go there. round by the pool. The other, there's, there's a few other pools, the isn't there? I've just walked up here and I've been swimming still here. Oh, fine. This is lovely. Yeah, well, that's it. You can spend more time in the pool than the exactly. city, can't you? Uh, but I'm going to get a. Yeah, good idea. It's lovely. I'm thinking that's exactly what I'm Yeah. <laughs> Hello, darling. Sorted. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We are just heading to reception to meet everybody to head to the hospitals. Um, I've just had a freshen up, but also like kind of no point because I'm now sweating again, absolutely sweating. Um, I have just trapped on this little vest top, well, like a tank top, but I think it's gonna be one of those colors where you can see the sweat through it, which is not the best idea. And also I'm kind of regretting my choice of trousers. I have just put these long green trousers on. Look at that camera angle, I'm sorry, it's so weird. Um, Danny's in a far, far more suitable attire <laughs> than I am but guys honestly look at this place how unreal how gorgeous can't cope I'm saying you're in a far more suitable attire than, than I am it's all black though yeah true true um just filled up some water there's a little like water machine outside 
um, our rooms. We've got one minute till we need to be there. Um, there was another girl still by the rooms I saw. Also, this water bottle was very kindly gifted to me by one of the girls at the My Protein event that I did. Um, that's her brand, Workout with Soph. If you want to have a look on Instagram. Um, gorgeous little bottle, actually. Came with me on the trip. Feel like Stanley's are great, but this is just a little bit lighter and a little bit more packable than a Stanley. It's on our way to meet everyone now, and I will vlog as much as I can at the hospitals. Obviously, I'm not really sure what it's going to be like, or even if we're going to be allowed to film. So um, I'll do my best to show you guys when we get there. Okay, we've just arrived at the hospital. It's actually not the biggest. I thought it was going to be a bit bigger than this, um, but we're just waiting to have our little tour. I think we're going to go around in groups. Guys, okay, so we're currently in the paediatric part of the hospital. So this is where all the children and not baby we're going to a separate part for where the babies are the NICU is what it's called but this is where all the children that would be admitted into hospital would be staying try to ensure we have enough little room lights for the babies um and they're in the incubator very active moving right <laughs> right so so this baby came three months early imagine all right so um so that's it so we have incubators that's a CPAP machine it's a tiny unit, mm. right? And it actually caters to all the babies from St. Vincent and even the Grenadines, right? Mm. So if you do have babies that are born in the Grenadine Islands that need the support, they have to come on to mainland. Mm -hmm. So this is really the only neonatal intensive care unit, yeah. right? And we have few nurses who are trained in NICU to support these babies. Hey guys, I think I was actually able to show you quite a bit in there, but I didn't do much talking because um, we were on a little tour, but this is what it looks like at the front of the hospital. Um, yeah, that was a really interesting experience and it was so, so good to see where our money was going towards. Like I said, they made a list of all the equipment that they needed and the total of the list came to 100k. There was like incubators and stuff on there because they've only got two or three incubators for the whole hospital. Um, so yeah, all the money that we've raised, the 100k that we've raised, has gone towards the list and um, they're able to buy the things on the list that they wanted so i'm so so pleased we were able to do that today we're gonna head back to the resort now for a quick turnaround i think we're actually heading on a catamaran like a team evening before the challenge starts tomorrow um, oh where's the other bus this one <laughs> thank you thank you so much for today nice to meet you bye 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 there's our little bus Everyone is so friendly, so, so friendly. Okay guys, quickest turnaround. Literally, we've been in the room less than 10 minutes and we're about to head out the door. Not had a chance for a shower, not had a chance to wash my hair, um, but we are heading on our little team catamaran cruise. This dress, by the way, obviously I didn't vlog our honeymoon in Rhodes, but this dress, I literally lived in in Rhodes. Like, I pretty much went to dinner in it every other evening. Um, it's actually Molly's and it's from Skims. I don't think I'd buy a Skims dress myself. Actually, I would. I probably would buy this myself because it is the comfiest dress, I've not got a bra on with it, and it's just soft and comfy and um, ever so slightly flattering, I think. It gives me more of a waist than I actually have. Um, but we are going to head to the boat, to the catamaran cruise. Apparently last time they did this catamaran cruise, they saw a pod of dolphins. So, fingers crossed that we see some dolphins. Um, I'm also hungry. Starving. Starving. Would you like to come show your outfit and then we'll go? Uh, this tea, this top, you know, do you, do you remember yeah, this This stuff? is so old. When did I get it? What for? Was this not for like the first holiday we ever went on when we went to America? Is it from Zara? I haven't wore it in about two years and I've seen it hang up. Well, like, it's lovely. Nice little Zara polo. Zara shorts. Zara shorts. And your Birkenstocks. I can't believe Easy. I've got my Birkenstocks. Easy well, I did. Right, guys. Um, my little sandals are from Ego. Cute. Yeah, we're going to head off to the cruise now. Bye. Okay, we're the first half of the team actually on the catamaran um, and it is absolutely massive. <laughs> Far too big for the amount of us that are here. I don't know why we're spinning around like no tomorrow, but oh, it's because the other lot are on their way. But guys, how gorgeous. We've just been given a rum punch as well, which actually I am a tad concerned about. We are up at 5 a.m. to do our first run, so I think I'm going to nurse this and then move on to a soft drink because that is not wise at all. Um, here's my darling husband. Looking glorious in the sun. Guys, we're just um, sailing past where they filmed Pirates of the Caribbean, which is so cool. Next time, We've also got a plate of food, which is going down very, very nicely. <laughs> Guys, we're 
realise that it's us in bed. It's half eight. Oh, gosh. Half eight, but that's half one UK time, right? Yeah, so the reason we're tired at half eight is because it's not actually half eight, it's half one. Um, early night for us. Alarm is going at half five, breakfast at six, leaving at half six to start the run about half seven, I think. I'm a little bit apprehensive because I just don't really know what to expect with the heat and the hills. The hills are just astronomically hilly and the heat again very very hot i don't it's not the distance that's going to be the issue and the actual running it's just adjusting to the heat and the hills um i think it's going to be quite tough but i people are saying like they're going to take you quite easy you're just going to get around for fun i do kind of want to work hard but also i don't want to kill myself so um i'm just going to see how i feel i think and just go off feeling yeah see what it feels like i've just done my lovely skincare moisturize yes i am still wearing my bride pajamas from my hendu and from the wedding. I think these were the pajamas I slept in the night of our wedding actually. Um, just gonna hydrate and get an early night. It's, it's not an early night. We are literally up in eight hours, nine hours, something like that. Yeah, both shattered. So I will speak to you in the morning for our first day of the challenge. I'm excited. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I don't feel tired whatsoever. Mm -mm. Um, quarter past six, We've been, well, I've been awake since half four, couldn't go back to sleep. Half six, and we've just been down to collect our breakfast. It's like a little takeaway box of loads Goodies. of like random stuff. We've got sandwiches, we've got some pastries, we've got a little oh, muffin. No, tuna, there, one of them is tuna, yeah. I did see that. Nothing for breakfast for me. Do you want, um, do you want my chicken one and I'll have your tuna one? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, kind of you. I know. Wait, is that egg in it as well? Oh no. <laughs> I don't mind tuna by itself, but not tuna and egg. Yeah, these wraps are actually so nice. We had them at breakfast yesterday with like breakfast stuff in. Why are they not the breakfast ones that we had yesterday? They were lovely. Um, sandwiches, yeah, pastries. So I'm going to tuck into this. We've literally got like five minutes to eat it and then we have to go um, down to the beach and meet everyone to get the boat to the first start of the run. Okay, guys, we're just waiting for the boat to come and pick us up. Um, sad news, we're not actually, let me flip this around, we're not actually getting to do the kayak today. So the plan was 15k run and then the 11k kayak but basically there's a problems with the kayaks and they can't get the kayaks on the boat across to oh, what's the island called it's Bequia it's definitely not how you say it um, I'm not sure how you say it but yeah we're about to get this boat an hour's boat to the island to start the first run and then we won't be able to do the kayaks which is a shame but we can kayak tomorrow um, definitely so that's a bonus but I'm sure actually my arms will probably be quite grateful for it and also this 15k run this morning is um going to be really hard because it's the hilliest one like it's literally like this they were saying the whole way um and it's currently 29 degrees we don't run for another hour so it could be another degrees warmer everyone is just here waiting for the boat we're a team of 20 so i think there's about 20 people running um also look at those villas by the way you can stay in those villas like you can rent the villas out and it's part of the resort. They are literally the most gorgeous things in the world. Stunning. Dread to think how much they are to stay in. Um, yeah, so pretty. There's Danny. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Such a good sleep. Yeah, we, slept, we keep sleeping. I keep sleeping so well. The sun isn't beaming on me yet, so it's okay. It's coming. It's coming over. Like. Oh no, the second the sun's here, it's going to be a bit of a problem. We're going to be running in the sun the whole time. Do you need to put some sun cream on? Yeah, you do, absolutely. Do it on the boat. Yeah, I'll it. Pack of 50. Do it on the boat. Okay, yeah, it turns out I've been saying the island's name wrong. It's not Bequia, it's Bequay. Spelt like Bequia. Anyway, this is Bequay. Coming into it now. Okay, guys, we're at the start line. Here we are. This is so scary. I feel really nervous all of a sudden. I think it's the heat. The heat is so much. It's so, so warm. But anyway, we're here. Views are absolutely spectacular. How gorgeous. I can't believe we we're actually getting to run around here. Like, this is insane. But yeah, um, it is half eight. So the sun is out and, and, and here to stay. Um, but yeah, really excited. I don't know how much I'll be able to vlog because... I am obviously going to be running and um, probably going to be in a lot of pain. Looks very hilly. Mountainous, sort of running, doing a mountainous 15k. Yeah, I'm very excited, very excited. Danny's just gone up there for a wee. Yeah, everyone's just gone up there for a wee, actually. I'm actually okay. I'll probably just have to stop on the actual run for a wee. Medical team, first responders, any other issue, we will take you to the health centre. 
we have communications organized for that. We have the rest of the ministry's team at the back. So, and our police officer So just for some quick updates, we'll be running on the left side of the road, as would have been indicated. The distance is an approximation because, as you would recognize if you're a distance runner, that there's no blue marking on the road for the shortest distance. So this is just an approximation. We'll be running close to about 17 kilometers, possibly 18. Um, initially, it would have been at 15, but some challenges occurred. So we fixed it to give you... Oh. Sit round. Guys, I can't lie. This is not for the faint-hearted. This heat... We're only 3k in. This heat is insane. I'm literally drenched. Views are incredible, but I'm just flapping a little bit about the heat, I can't lie. Obviously, we're not overly acclimatised. Um, so I'm not running too fast, just trying to take it nice and easy. And if I feel any like signs of me feeling poorly from the heat, I will just walk. Um, yeah, 3k in. They've actually upped it to 18k now, 19k, which is lovely. So, the views. Right, I don't know how much more I'll vlog because I am just going to focus on running, I think. Hi. Thank you. May I just have some water? Is that off? This is the same stuff. Oh, I'll have this one. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Do you think you can open? Sorry, my hands are so slippy, I can't open it. Thank you so much. Brilliant. Right. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> Oh. Okay guys, 9k in. I've just seen Danny, which was a boost of morale. So that obviously means we've got to loop back round. Oh wow, so warm, but gorgeous, so gorgeous. Okay guys, we've done just over 15k. But obviously they briefed at the start that it was going to be near 18k, which no, I'm not going to lie. A little, gutted, a little bit gutted about. I can't even talk. Okay, literally, you can't get the words out. Um, I found this second half a bit easier. I think we've got used to the heat. Uh, my ankle's a bit sore though. And I just don't like not knowing how far we've got left because if it's a K, I would run the whole thing. But if it's 18K, then we've still got like just under 3K left. And this is a big hill I'm running up now. So I probably would walk, which I'm gonna do. Oh my God. I was just saying to one of the guys who's just running behind me, I actually find it harder when I'm walking with the heat. Like I notice the heat more when I'm walking. My body starts to go all tingly when I'm walking, but when I'm running, it's just hard. Oh my God. Right, I'm gonna put my camera away now and vlog at the finish, which is hopefully no more than like 2K away. Hoping, hoping. Oh, um, second half easier than the first half. Really? First half I was tingling, I was walk I was like panicking a bit. Yeah, really panicking. How did you feel? Um, I just felt like my, I couldn't regulate my heart rate. Was yeah, like, you know, my heart rate was so high the whole time. Yeah, like even even now, when I was walking. I'm 120 now, I'm doing the zone 3 run apparently. Yeah. Guys, we did it. Oh. Well done, amazing. This is where we just finished. Oh my god. Oh, so nice. Um, yeah. Um, I think it was a. Um, I don't know. Oh, basically, these were, this was the water we were having out of these bags. These were great. I was pouring it everywhere, literally everywhere, yeah. Everywhere, so good. Oh my gosh, that was that was one of the toughest things I've done, I think. Really was one of the toughest things. Different type of flight. Yeah. Different type of flight. Yeah, let me go see you Mm. Has everyone finished? Everyone made it? I can't believe it. I can't stop thinking like that. That was literally the hardest thing I've ever done. Hardest thing. Let's finish. Yeah, we ran around the island. 18k. Yeah. Came in, she came in what? Well, she was the final person. Oh, she was the final person. What time did you start? Nice. Um, eight, yeah. How long did it take you? Um, two, two hours, yeah. You 
Ren the whole time? Yeah, oh, well, two I'm hours. <laughs> We've got a four-day challenge. We've got the same again tomorrow, and then a half marathon the next day. Here? Um, on September. Okay, I think... I just think my face could be burnt. <laughs> my face on this camera is bright red. Is it bright red in person? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely burnt. Um, we are back at the hotel and we've just come to the buffet lunch. Both of us are starving. Everyone's gone back to the room to like get changed and stuff, but we've come straight here. <laughs> I couldn't wait. This is um, what I've gone for. Got some pasta salad, some mashed potato, chicken, and some prawns. I'm definitely gonna have about four plates because that is not gonna cut the mustard for me. But feeling um feeling really good and sorry thank you <laughs> happy that it's done happy that day one's ticked off and that i'm just alive in one piece body feels fine body feels absolutely fine just um, the heat. yeah just the heat. i'm okay with water thank you very much thank you did you get much ice yeah, loads, a whole oh my god guys we're making an ice bath <laughs> i think this is going to be hell on earth let me feel how cold it is this is on our balcony by the way oh it's not that cold actually probably not cold enough well I was literally filming my legs um oh guys I'm gonna be honest I'm gonna be honest with you now don't feel too well don't feel too well not poorly but I just feel very very hot and exhausted <laughs> we've eaten so much as well but I feel like our body was like just craving all sorts of food um we've just been chilling down by the pool for like an hour speaking to everyone else that was on the run and Everyone's kind of feeling the same, like a bit, a bit exhausted and a bit poorly. Um, so, Danny's making an ice bath. I don't actually think it's going to be used, to be honest, because it doesn't feel cold enough. And also, there's no part of me right now that wants to get in the ice bath, none whatsoever. Got my bikini on though, so I probably should. And for the sake of my body, I probably should. But I, oh, my face is bright red, patchy. Um, I do kind of just want to like. nap <laughs> um we don't think we're gonna go out for dinner either this evening we think we're just gonna get room service <laughs> wait danny's got more ice Ready? yeah wow it doesn't feel that cold by the way don't say i've wasted my time oh no that's cold enough really I think so. I reckon one more bag will tip it over the edge. And you're going to get in it, are you? I've got absolutely no desire Let to get, get in, in there. Alright. Because then, I reckon it might be a, a free bag jobby each day. Yeah, I think so. Are you going to. Uh, can you be arsed yes. though? Oh. Oh, yes. Yeah, now we're talking. Oh. Really? <laughs> no, you can get in it first. I can feel you getting in it. Bad, really? Oh, well done. We did an actual ice bath the other day, a proper one, and Danny was rubbish at it, so this is actually quite an improvement. Yeah, I'm not getting my whole body. Yeah, but that one was minus six degrees. This one's probably about 26 no, degrees. No, this is cold. This is cold, I'm telling you now. I can't be bothered, I'm going to be honest. I'll do it tomorrow. One more bag of ice and that. But you don't need to do that now, do you? No, I don't need to, but that's cold enough. Well, current scenes. I'm going to um, have a nap, I think. I feel like I need a nap, or just at least just to lie down in the cold air. Um, but yeah, we're not going to... I don't think we're going to... Well, Danny doesn't want to. I'm not too fast, but he doesn't really want to go out for dinner this evening. Um, but also, like, I, I do agree. We do just need a, a pasta and an early night. <laughs> Could get that tortellini again that we had on the first night. Um, also, it will warm up really quickly, that water out here, because, it, because of the air temperature. Yeah, I think we have a little nap, guys, and I will speak to you when I wake up from it. Okay, we're being proper slobs today. We've actually not moved since I last spoke to you, but we're both shattered and really not feeling 100%. But tell me if anything is better than this. We're watching Netflix. We've got some room service. I'll bring this over here. I'm not going to eat it here, though. Um, I've got... Ignore all my towels and stuff over there, but I've got the most gorgeous pasta. Danny had this on the first night. So... Um, we both put this again and also on the side of here i picked up a blt for us to have for breakfast in the morning i'll probably have the chips now but we've got a blt to have for breakfast because the breakfast this morning we weren't overly a fan of so i think that's a great idea i would wash my hair finally <laughs> you just peep it in the corner <laughs> um what are you tucking into your chips 
Is that going to go stale? And I'm really just yeah. I'm Danny had a, a a bit of a minute about ten minutes ago where he just suddenly came over like not well at all, didn't you? Mm, like minus one strokes. Yeah. That's why I've got, I don't ever drink this yet. Got like, your coke, yeah. But you know, sometimes your body's just like give me sugar. Yeah. My mouth just feels so dry. Like as much as much water as I'm drinking, it's still not helping. Um, but yeah, we're going to tuck into our dinner and just again another early night for us because it's a half four wake up tomorrow. Um, breakfast is at half four, so well breakfast for everyone else. Our breakfast is those BLTs, which is such a good idea. Yeah, It's actually quite nice. Is it? Yeah, I was looking at it thinking I don't think, think I can do that this morning. But actually, I'm starting to eat it. As soon as you take a bite, it's hitting the spot. Mm. So this is the BLT that we ordered last night. When I say last night, also, it kind of still feels like last night. It feels like that night. Literally went like that. I've been asleep for about two hours, but I slept the whole night. Like, what time do we go to sleep? Uh, half eight. Really? I feel like I'm just sleeping around. I don't know, it might be a bit later for me. I think I was more like half nine. Um, so I've still had a good like seven, eight hours sleep, but <sighs> alarm went at four o'clock this morning. Uh, oh. And actually we had two of these each, but two of them went really, really soggy in the fridge, which was weird. I think the water from the freezer was like leaking on them. Anyway, good morning. Finish this and head down to meet everyone, hopefully get a coffee. Um, my ankle's sore, annoyingly, really sore, and I'm hoping that when I start running and take some ibuprofen, it's fine, but I also don't really want to injure myself, because that would not be good. Um, I've changed my shoes. I'm thinking that these ones will give me more support on the Puma ones, there, as much as they're lovely, like, over that distance, they probably don't give me enough support. Um, but yeah. My A6. They're just a bit more sturdy. Neutral. Yeah. But yeah. Good morning, guys. We're going to head over to meet everyone and get a coffee and maybe some more breakfast. Stop and the same practice happens. There's an option of having bottled water or we go back to the plastic bag. Which would you prefer? Plastic bag. Plastic bag. So we would, we would organize and ensure that the plastic bags are available. Um, we do have prep some already so that you can use. Again, just bite on the end and you can either suck on it or squeeze so that you can have um, your hydration. And I marked it out twice, I got 15 Ks, yesterday I got 14 some, so give or take, we might be off in terms of numbers. Again, this is also based on the fact that we're not doing the, the most direct route, all right? But I promise it that it is scenic. It is, <laughs> there are literally three to four inclines that are challenging. But they are not as what you had yesterday. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, My friend. <laughs> <laughs> hour and a bit. Oh, okay. For fifteen k. You'd be fine. That, you did hour and twenty six yesterday for eighteen k. It was silly. All right. We're at the start line. Make sure they don't start like that guy. I feel tight. Oh yeah, we've got one more person. He's just gone to the toilet. Yeah. Do you be in charge of that? We're at the start line. Oh, why am I pointing at the sky? Just quickly building the start line. So here we are. Basically, there's some local runners running with us today. So Danny's got a little bit of competition and people that he can try and like try and keep up with. But yeah, the police are here for Danny to follow again. But these guys at the front, the lo locals, are meant to be rapid, rapid, rapid. That's super fast. Right, let's do it, guys. 15k is a slightly less distance than yesterday, but. Potentially a little bit hillier, they said. Not overly sure. I also need the toilet, and that's that. <laughs> need the toilet. <sighs> much cooler than yesterday. Much hillier. So hilly, it's just literally been one big hill. Oh, but weirdly enjoying it. I don't mind a hill. It's the downhills that hurt. Hello. Run number two. That was a lot more Done. pleasant today. So much more pleasant, went so much quicker. Managed to run like pretty much the whole thing other than like a couple hundred meters. Everyone's um, a bit happier with that one, aren't they? Yeah, and now 
<laughs> We've got an 11 kc kayak. <laughs> it's going to be a bit of a beast. I don't know how that's, this is going to go, you know. I can't picture it. Well, just think how long it's going to take us to get over there. I think it's going to take a couple of hours. Yeah, I do. We need to fuel. <laughs> I know, I've got no, have you got any any food yet? I've had no gels. Um, I had one gel. No. I could do with like a. Um, they must have some protein about or something. Yeah, guys, so much happier today. That was so much more fun um, than yesterday. Yeah. And just so much more manageable. What time did you do? Fifty-nine forty-five. Amazing. That's so good. Wow. I was able to under average. the hour. I bet you didn't think you were going to get under the hour when you looked at how far no. was left. No, I didn't. And then you realised it's hundred meters. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what the hell's going on there? Then? I don't know why I don't know. Yeah. Not really smart, so it's put me off. So, no, it's too. like fish, it's like crabs. Fish. Yeah, gonna um, wait for everyone to finish and get in, the, get in the kayaks. It's actually raining and I think it's meant to be a thunderstorm. I don't know, did you see the rainbow? Yeah, it came out. Yeah, 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 yeah. The vessel that will provide whatever necessary aid that is there. I would strongly suggest that you keep a little water with you, but you'll have water available. Um, I have both bottle and bags that can be used during the entire process. Um, if there's any difficulty, just wave your hand, let us know, and then we'll have either vessel to come and assist during the process. Any questions? We all good? All right, so the last of the kayaks will shortly be here, and then um, as soon as I load this rehydration boat, then we'll get going. <laughs> Look, have you got that towel behind your head? Yeah. That's a great shout, to be fair. Danny's put a hat on and a towel on his head so it doesn't burn. Um, everyone's just got their kayaks. I think we're waiting to go, but I think this is going to take a good couple of hours and in the blazing sun, so just need to be careful. Um, we've got plenty of water with us, and there's like a little boat coming around with us that's got hydration on it. Um, we've got, we've blocked out, I think, and we've got one of the faster kayaks. I don't know, actually. They might be the same. Those ones are definitely comfier the soft ones, the inflatable ones, but these ones, I just feel like they're a bit more sturdy. Excited to get back to the hotel, I can't lie. 15K run straight into this is a lot, and it's not like a leisurely kayak. Well, it is, but also like we have to finish, like we've got to get to the end. <laughs> so it's not even like we can just paddle out for like 20 minutes and come back in, like we have to go. We're like paddling back to the hotel, which is 11, 10, 11 K away. So yeah, I think it's gonna take a couple of hours, but. Oh my God, guys, that was so, so tough. That was so tough. I need to stop my watch actually. Have I stopped my watch? No, I'm not. Oh my goodness, here come another two. Wow. <laughs> That's literally what I was like at the end. I'm not gonna lie, when we saw that end, I was so happy, so happy to see the end. That was really tough. Oh my goodness, my shoulders, wow. But, it was absolutely gorgeous, like absolutely gorgeous and so peaceful. But yeah, we're all just sort of finishing up now. Um, it wasn't 11k, thankfully, I think it was a bit less. It took us an hour and a half, an hour and a half of kayaking. Tough, really tough. Um, I need to shower and get some food in us, I think, because we've not eaten since breakfast this morning. At like half four, it's now half ten. Um, and we've done a lot of moving our bodies, so... Yeah, I'm gonna sort myself out um, and I'll speak to you when I got some food in my gob. I think I'll be a bit better then. Okay guys, food is here. I'm already starting to look better. I had a croissant from the pastry pot. I've had some fruit, a lot of pineapple juice. This is steak and eggs. Uh, Danny's got steak and eggs as well and some pancake, pancakes. Maybe I have one of those pancakes? Oh, maybe. Is that right? <laughs> um, yeah, this looks very yummy and tuck in now. I'll just explain to everyone what's going on right now. I want to go to sleep. <laughs> My wife is forcing me to dinner. <laughs> Do you want to know how, how good the conversation is going to be? <laughs> like this. <laughs> oh, to be fair, guys, getting out for dinner tonight, a real struggle. But we did think we couldn't order room service three nights in oh, a row. Um, no, house. would it be three nights in a row? Three no, we didn't on the second one. Four nights in a row. Four nights in a row. Three nights in a row. But basically, like, because we are still jet lagged and we're getting up so early, also my forehead is so we're well up, and sore. We're up at four every morning. Yeah, we want him to be in bed by like seven. Oh, but some places days. for dinner I, like don't open till seven. Um, <laughs> you do need to man up a little bit. <laughs> are you going to talk to me at dinner? 
We have a nice dinner, a nice chit chat. Just catch up on the days of this. <laughs> we were just sat in bed then, I was editing a vlog. Um, and I was like, come on, we need to go out for dinner. We were looking at all the restaurants <laughs> to look at the menus and like seeing what time they open and seeing if we needed to reserve. Anyway, we're basically, we're going to the Italian that we actually did go to on the second night. I can't, did I vlog at that really Italian? Not one cold ramen. No, because the other options, like, as nice as they are on holiday, like the seafood restaurant, lovely, meat restaurant, lovely. I just want right now, wrap. the night before, a, yeah, the night before a half marathon, it's not what we need. I just want a nice chicken wrap, maybe some sweet potato fries. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I had a burger at lunch. You've had about four burgers on this one. <laughs> I have to be fair. Zoe Burger Ray. But um, basically, what we've decided is the meal that works for us on this challenge is pasta. Yeah. And the places we can get a pasta are this Italian or room service. <laughs> so we're dragging our ass out tonight. The only thing is though, I can't actually remember if I filmed when we were last here at the Italian and we got three pasta dishes, exactly what we've done now. Well, if you did. Here we are again, but again. this time I've got lasagna. Bearing in mind, we have a very, very hot and hilly half marathon tomorrow. Lasagna, this lovely spaghetti chicken thing and Danny's got, I'm sure, I'm sure I did, I can't remember. Danny's got, um, Penne arrabbiata. Yeah, we definitely did. That's how um, that's how tired and delirious we've been the last few days. I don't even know like when I vlogged or anything. Um, but we made it. We're still awake and actually, how do you feel? Not too tired. You're not falling asleep at the table like you thought you would be. Not falling asleep at the table. Great, great chair chatter. <laughs> a bit <of> path. <laughs> what would it be without a sweet treat? We're not too tired to stay up for a sweet treat. That's for sure. Although we can literally just get these to take away. This is our little coffee shop and ice cream shop we've been coming to. How nice these brownies look. All the ice creams here as well, but we've been coming in here and getting coffees, iced coffees every day. Um, 10 out of 10 coffees. All these little sweet treats up here as well. Gorge. Danny's got a coconut macaroon. Thank you, bye bye. I'm gonna scoff it when I get back to the room. Guys, day two done. Good night from us and me and my brownie. And we will see you, <laughs> no, 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Wait, breakfast is at four or breakfast is at half four? Breakfast is at four, we're leaving at half four. Um, so, very early night from us. Probably could be earlier still. Good morning. Oh my goodness, I hope and I think this is our last early start. Well, tomorrow could be quite early, but I don't think it's going to be like 4am early. It is currently 10 past 4. I'm just walking over to get some breakfast. Um, alarm went at half 3. I actually don't feel tired, honestly, and I do think it's because we've done really well at staying on UK timings. Like, we've done so well at that, as much as it's meant, like, going to bed early, which has been a bit of pants and a bit boring. We've needed to do it, because otherwise, no one gets up at half three to go for a run. That's obscene. It's absolutely obscene. Um, but that's, that's what we're doing. But obviously, it's half eight at home, so... No, half eight? Oh, I don't know. Half seven? Something like that. Half eight. Um, yeah, just walking to get breakfast now. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm feeling a little... Worse for wear today. Um, my ankle is still sore and my calf is very, very tight as well. Um, so I'm just going to get put some deep freeze on it and I, oh my god, sorry, literally weren't showing my face at all. I'm going to put some deep freeze on it when we get to this conference room for, bre for breakfast and we'll take some ibuprofen. I'm just going to fingers crossed that it doesn't cause me much aggro during. Basically, yesterday when I was running uphill, nothing hurt whatsoever. Like I was loving running uphill. Um, but the second there was a downhill, that's when my ankle started to hurt. I think my calf's fine, I think my calf's just tight and it will have to loosen off. Like I don't think that's an actual injury, but potentially my ankle could be a problem, I'm not sure. But uphill, fine. It's just downhill. Um, but anyway, this run today, part of this run is on the world's, like one of the world's hardest 10k routes. Um, something like that someone said, which is just spectacular. Just what we need at the end of this challenge, one of the world's hardest 10k routes. But yeah, the elevation gain on this today is obscene. Um, and 
we drove the route basically coming back from the airport the other day when we first arrived the route is from the airport to the hotel and my god it was ridiculous so hilly so no pressure on myself today i feel like the last two days i have actually like tried quite hard and put quite a lot a lot of effort in especially yesterday like i was really like pushing myself and running quite fast well not fast but like fast for where we are and the hills so today i'm just gonna not stress about it too much and see how i feel especially for the first half like i'm just gonna take that nice and easy and see how my feet see how my ankle feels and my calf feels yeah half four in the morning how cute it's so it's palm trees behind me oh i don't know why i'm out of breath that's concerning but let's get some breakfast breakfast i'm not gonna lie it's not been hitting the spot it's not been hitting the spot um but <laughs> It's been fine. Like it's, it's evidently got me through and we've been having big dinners So they've got me through as well. Okay, this is the low conference room where we've all been meeting. Danny and I are quite early this morning actually, which is Bizarre for us. We're normally the last ones here. This is what we've been having for breakfast. So um, Basically, oh this one's a good one. That's three pastries and that. I'm gonna have this one. Normally there's just two pastries and like like wraps and stuff. Oh no, I did show you on the first morning, didn't I? I'm gonna get this one and I'm gonna have, oh my God, thank you. I'm gonna have those three pastries. I'm gonna sit there on the floor. Danny's made me a coffee. Thank you very much. Perfect. Let's give it a stir. Okay, it's 5.25. I think we're starting in about five minutes. Danny and I have actually just found toilets, which was a lucky, lucky find. Um, just want to get going now for like once you get going the first once the first 5k is out the way Dan don't you think it's all right yeah normally it's that first 5k it's tough we're starting straight up a hill as well really oh my god I'm not gonna lie just I know it's dark but I am so hot just standing here I right know now. it's warm yeah I feel like there's no air today anyway guys um I'll vlog when I can like I have done before but don't count on it this one's gonna be tough <laughs> We got caught in the world's worst tropical rainstorm, which is why I haven't filmed a single thing. Um, I was just panicking that my camera was going to break in the rain. Danny didn't get caught in the rain because he was too fast. Oh, your legs? My legs are a bit My legs are a bit compromised. Um, yeah, we did it. Smashed it. Both of us smashed it. So he's been very consistent this week, haven't he? <laughs> just kept running around. Not first, yeah, last. Just, um, um, I ran around with a girl today and she just said, all you've got to do is stay low and stay slow. Stay low and slow. And that's what we did. We stayed low, low and slow and we just what kept... What are you used to doing then? Stay, stay low, low and <laughs> When I say raining, it was absolutely hammering it down. Um, yeah, loads of hills. Did it in 226. It was just over, just over half marathon. Just under 14 miles. Um, yeah, loved it. Feel great. That was the last, the last hard run. Guys, I think it's time for a well-deserved chill. It is actually one o'clock. Um, so quite late. We've had a nap. We had some breakfast. And we're feeling so tired. Bodies are sore. I've just been to the salad bar and made my own salad. I'm sorry. That looks absolutely delicious. I got like the nicest things added to it. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very happy with that. I'm gonna tuck into that. I've got a Coke Zero, Danny's just at the bar. Actually getting us a pina colada, because why the devil not? Um, but how pretty, oh my God. I'm so content. I've had to put a hat on today because my scalp was burning a lot yesterday from the kayak. Um, body's actually not feeling too bad. I feel like that nap's helped. And there's a spa which we're gonna go and use the like plunge pool and stuff in a bit. Um, Cause that will definitely, definitely help our legs. Morning. Day four, final day. We were meant to be doing a volcano hike today. However, the volcano has seismic activity, which means there's chance of it erupting. <laughs> so we're not going up the volcano, we're doing a different hike. But this time yesterday, we've been running for half an hour. It's a late start today, six o'clock. Late. Still so early, but yesterday obviously we're being like 4am, which is so so silly. What you I like you, sorry. I've been bitten. Oh, we haven't got any mozzie spray, have we? Have we ever had any mozzie spray? No. Some people said to bring mozzie spray. Oops. I've been bitten. We've got sun cream and pastries, and that's it all. So, guys, we've started this morning's hike. Slight. 
error in miscommunication. We thought today was going to be a three hour hike. It's actually six, seven hours. Um, so I think Danny and I are going to be okay. We've got gels and we've managed to pack a little bit of food. We packed another one of those lunch boxes that we had for breakfast. Um, there's a lot of people here with not much water and just one cookie for the day. So we'll have to see how we go on. Very, very warm as well. Um, all just high so far, I'm just conscious that people may not have enough supplies. So take it nice and easy and see how we get on. Okay, just two of 25 river crossings we've got to do. I don't know how this is gonna go. I mean, the first one was fine, but this one's a lot stronger. I think people are really struggling with this one. This is a real challenge. Guys, I'm terribly sorry for the abrupt ending to this vlog. Basically, I'm not gonna lie, day four of the challenge, day four, day kind, four, of, the kind of morale suffering. Like, it behind. was definitely a low light for us. Um, so many highlights. In fact, every single run for me was a highlight. Even the first one, like it was so tough, but because it was so tough, it was a highlight. But that, that last day for us, it was just, some people loved it, a lot of people didn't love it. We hiked for a nice view. Yeah, we like to hike and see nice things, but we were hiking <laughs> up a dried riverbed. riverbed with no view and like loads of river crossings. And it was just, it just wasn't, it was a lot, wasn't it? Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. a lot, we didn't love it. Um, so I don't know, it's not, it's, not, it's not finished on a high, but like the last day needed it to be a little bit more challenging, I think. Yeah, definitely. Um, so basically but as a the, whole, the challenge was a challenge. Like the, the three oh God, first yeah. runs, wow, and the kayak. <laughs> they were challenging. The kayak was probably the hardest part. What were you going to say? I was going to say we couldn't do the proper bike the volcano hike because. Yeah, of, I said that. Oh, did you? Yeah, annoying because um, what's it called again? Seismic. Seismic activity. Yeah, basically it was going to erupt, but it didn't. So riverbed of... hike for us. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I didn't really vlog much on that day just because my uh, well, I, because I was Zoe snapped. Was snapped. <laughs> you were snapped too. I was uber snapped. I was snapped five thousand. <laughs> um, yes, but you didn't miss much. Basically, the bit that I put in of, of the hike, it was that, but like over and over again. Um, but yeah, I, I, do you know what? It has been so good. And like, if I can get back on, if we can get on this next year, oh my god, one hundred percent we can. Oh, yeah. The fact that it was for charity as well, like always a bonus. The fact that the runs were challenging, again a bonus. Like we really got something out. Everyone of Everyone was like few so days. tired after after three or four days, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, we I think we realise now that after day one, we actually had some mild sunstroke. Like one hundred percent, we had mild sunstroke. We weren't well at all. Um, but yeah, guys, I. I'm going to end the vlog here. We're about to leave the hotel to head back to um, the airport, to head back home. It's Danny's birthday in a couple of days, so we'll do some nice celebrations for his birthday. But yeah, I've really, really enjoyed filming this vlog, and I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it. Like, would a Zoe Ray vlog be without a bit of active, active stuff going on? Um, but yeah, I really want to get on this next year. Like, it's been so good, and learnt a lot about myself. Just, yeah, really pleased that we got round and everyone's alive and in one piece and we raised a lot of money a hell of a lot of money over a hundred thousand pounds between us which is amazing um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you very very soon in my next video bye